Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about fig fragrances. I have a few full bottles in my collection that have fig in them and this video was inspired by a new addition to my perfume collection. It is a beautiful fig fragrance that I think is signature scent worthy and we are also going to be going over some full bottle worthy fragrances that are currently in my fragrance wish list. Fig is a fragrance note that I'm not really familiar with. I don't have a lot of fragrances in my collection with prominent notes of fig, but it is a fragrance note that I truly enjoy and I cannot wait to try more and more fig fragrances. So let us start today's video with probably one of the most famous fig fragrances for the past couple of years. This is Gris Charnel from the House of BDK. So I have a house review talking about I think six or seven BDK fragrances. I'm gonna link that video down below. So this one, I wasn't really sure how to feel or what to feel or how I expected this fragrance to be. This was really hyped up a couple of years ago and I finally bit the bullet and got a discovery set because I wanted to experience what this fragrance really was and how it really is on my skin. This one was included in my anti-haul video only because this one didn't really live up to the hype that I put in my head. A lot of people describe this fragrance as being, you know, really beautiful, really sexy, and it is, I have to agree, it really is, but, you know, as a scent, I guess I wasn't really that familiar with the notes, I wasn't familiar with fig. This was the first fig fragrance that I tested. I didn't really know how I felt about it. So I think if I remember correctly in my um, house review, I mentioned that this one was more of a sandalwood and tea kind of fragrance, and it got something great green but also sweet at the same time. I didn't really know what it was and I think it was Nisha or Spicy Looks that commented. I think I commented in one of her videos and she said it was probably fig that I got more in the fragrance. So as a fig scent, this one is more of a green aromatic kind of a fig fragrance. So if you're into that, I highly suggest this one. This really is a nice scent, I have to agree. But it's not something that I'm really itching to have in my collection. In terms of the scent profile, it gives me something similar to Auto Portrait from Olfactive Studio. But that one is a resin forward fragrance. This one doesn't really have any resins at all. I get more cardamom, tea, and sandalwood, and tonka bean. But as for the fig, I just get a little bit of a coconutty kind of fig somewhere in the middle of the scent, but it's not really the um, main note or the focal note in the fragrance. But this one is really nice. So for a green aromatic kind of a fig fragrance with other notes forward as well, like sandalwood, if you're okay with that, and tea and cardamom, I suggest you guys to try Gris Charnel. It's really nice, you know. I, I guess I was just confused and I didn't really know what to expect with the fragrance and I think that's just how it is with most um, hyped fragrances like you don't really know what to expect and sometimes you don't live up to the expectations you have in your mind but you know that's why I still kept my sample and I still test it every once in a while so right now after two years I really do appreciate that it is a beautiful scent and here is one from Wilhelm Perfumery this one is called Purple Fig I really wanted to try another fig fragrance after you know my experience with Gris Charnel I wanted to um, test more fig fragrances this one is more of a sweet fruity citrusy kind of a scent profile with fig as a center note this one has prominent notes of lemon and cassis with angelica adding a little bit of aromatic touch to it so both of these are aromatic kind of fig fragrances or fragrances in general with purple fig being more of a sweet fruity scent this one starts off really fresh and crisp because of lemon and then it becomes a totally different scent as it develops in the middle fig is more forward you get a lot more of that and in the dry down becomes this beautiful resinous woody scent this is actually one of the fragrances that i really want to add to my collection together with um Morning Chess from Wilhelm Perfumery. If you want to experience fig as a fragrance note, but it has other supporting notes that are prominent as well, this one is more of, like I mentioned, sweet and fruity and citrusy. This one is really nice. It's fresh. It's more of like a spring and summer scent for me, but you know, definitely something that you can still wear during colder weather, but you know, it's perfect to wear for those warmer weathers because of the zest from the lemon. 
Um, I forgot to mention, Gris Charnel is a signature scent worthy and I understand why people love this one so much now because, you know, this is something that, you know, is the epitome of a signature scent because you can wear this for whatever weather, whatever occasion, whatever, you know, fashion style it, and it will still work. So let us go to this 90s formulation of Womanity from Teddy Mugler. I have this decant from Claire. Thank you so much, Claire Smith, for giving me this decant. Um, this is currently in my wish list. This one is more marine and ozonic because aside from fig, this one has a prominent note of caviar. And that's the reason why I love this because fig is very coconutty in here. It gives that tropical feel to the whole scent plus the marine, almost salty, seaweed-like um, scent that I get from caviar. It's, you know, it's just a perfect combination of both notes. Um, this whole scent reminds me of Fifty First Dates, the movie with uh, Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler. The scent profile of having that coconutty fig together with caviar just reminds me of the whole movie. So, um, yeah, this one is currently in my wish list, my realistic wish list as well. But, you know, if I could choose between, um, for example, Purple Fig and Womanity, I would definitely go for Womanity because, you know, it's a more unique fragrance. But in terms of a fig fragrance, these two are definitely um, friendlier. They are blind by safe, if I could say that. And they are easier, more pleasant compared to Womanity because this one is definitely one of those... Um, very polarizing fragrances because of the caviar note. Here I have the 2022 release from Essential Perfums. This one is called Fig Infusion. When I went to their website and I saw this new release, I really wanted to blind buy it because, you know, after trying more and more fig fragrances, and I'm going to talk about um, this fragrance right here, I owned all these other fragrances before testing Fig Infusion. And I thought, you know, I would really love this fig fragrance. I wanted to blind buy it, but um, I decided to sample it first, be responsible. This one is more of a woody kind of a fig fragrance. So just like with Biggie Case Gris Charnel, Fig Infusion has prominent notes of sandalwood and fig. So I get a lot of those notes, but in the try down, this one has resins, it has benzoin. This one also has black tea. So in terms of the scent profile, it's quite similar to Gris Charnel, but the whole scent is different. So it has black tea, orange blossom, benzoin. It also has mandarin orange, which lightens the whole scent. Um, fig here is more of a green aromatic fig. It's not as coconutty as it is in Womanity, or it's not even as smooth as it is in BDK. So this one is sharper in terms of scent profile with more focus on sandalwood, benzoin, and fig. So I really love this. I really like this actually. Um, I enjoyed wearing it. This one is such a um, wide projecting fragrance. It's long lasting. It's a unisex kind of scent because it can work for both personalities because of the sandalwood. So if you're looking for a woodier kind of a fig scent, fig here, like I said, is more green and it's that dry kind of dusty kind of fig scent so if you like those kind of fragrances fig infusion is a really um nice scent to try so i want to talk about this one this one is an impression of byredo's pulp this is an oil from oil perfumery and i got this from emmy's world of fragrance she gave me this one as a gift this one has that sweet fruity bright entrance and i think because of notes like blackcurrant and bergamot According to the website from Oil Perfumery, the notes of pulp from Barredo, they're very similar to the ones from um, Oil Perfumery. So the top notes are blackcurrant, bergamot, and cardamom. I guess adding cardamom in most fig fragrances really, you know, just helps the whole scent profile. I don't know. Um, in the middle, this one has apple, tiare, flower, fig, praline, peach blossom, and cedar in the base. This one, even though it's not the original, it's only an impression, I still get... You know the whole scent profile and fig here is more or less similar to how it is in fig infusion it's more of a drier green kind of fig which you know works really well with other notes like blackcurrant and bergamot and apple so it's more um the fruity notes here are more prominent compared to fig and in terms of how the fruity the whole scent is compared to purple fig purple fig is sweeter even though paul passed red apple but you know that's just how i experienced this um oil this impression of 
the original from Byredo. Now let us go to the full bottles. I'm going to start with the one that has the least fig in it. So this one is Black Opium Illicit Green from YSL. This is one of the newer additions to my perfume collection. I got this a month ago or I think more than a month ago. And this was the one that um, made me eat crow or made me eat my words because I said I would never buy a Black Opium fragrance. And here I am loving this one so much. This is a mainly a sweet floral vanilla fragrance with some coffee and fig in it so i was really intrigued with how fig would be um, interpreted in this scent because i was already familiar with fig as a note in fragrances so aside from fig also the other reason why i got this was um pear so this one has fig leaf pear and mandarin orange as its top notes in the middle this has beautiful white florals like jasmine and orange blossom together with fig and in the base this one has bourbon vanilla coffee and patchouli so with the whole scent, this is mainly a white floral fragrance. I get a lot of jasmine here, more more than orange blossom, so it's more jasmine on my nose. The entrance, I get a lot of pears, some um, citrusy, sweet citrusy accord from a green mandarin. But, you know, the fig, I, I get it. It's more of like a coconutty fig, which, you know, works well with notes like bourbon, vanilla, and coffee. So this is more of a more versatile a wearable kind of black opium dna compared to the original because that one i think is perfect as a fall and winter scent or for cooler weather while this one can work for spring and summer as well because of fig and pear so in terms of fig it's more of a coconutty kind of fig it's not really that lactonic and i don't really get it a lot in the scent that's why i started with this one but you know if I think it's just, you know, the power of suggestion it could be. Like, since, you know, the color is green and you have pear and fig, you could get the scent in there. But, you know, I kind of get it slightly, just a hint of that fig. But, um, yeah, I want to try this more during fall and winter. Maybe by then I can get more fig. But right now I'm really loving it. I love the color of the bottle. I love green. But, yeah, this is more of a coconutty fig. But it's really, really faint it's just a hint of that fig in the fragrance because this is more of a jasmine, vanilla kind of scent with coffee and fig. So Black Opium Illicit Green from YSL. This is Mugler's Angel Au Crochet 2020. And I always say that this is one of my best blind buys of 2021. This is a very sweet and fruity lactonic fragrance with notes of fig nectar, praline, patchouli, vanilla, and magnolia. So I noticed that this one has praline as well and was it? Yeah, I think pulp also had praline in the notes. So I, you know, it's a common theme here that fig is usually paired with either praline, a white floral, or cardamom. The fig in here is a very coconutty, lactonic, milky kind of a fig scent. I always um, mention when I talk about this fragrance that sometimes I get um, pineapple, sometimes I get mango. I think that's just how, you know, the fruity accord of fig together with patchouli and the floral here, magnolia, that's how it, you know, it feels or how, how it smells to my nose. But yeah, I really thought that this one had coconut. It was actually Moon Perfumes that asked me, I think she DM'd me on Insta or commented in one of my videos where she asked me, you know, did you get something coconutty in a scent? And I told her, yeah, now that you asked, I do get something coconutty. It's um, creamy, it's smooth. I don't know what it is. And she said, yeah, that's how fig is in fragrances. So when we just go through the whole timeline of like which fig fragrances I tried first, it was BDK's Gris Charnel and I tried Purple fig and then it's this one au crochet so this is like the first probably you know fig scent that i have where i really understood how fig is in fragrances and you know this is the coconutty kind of fig. and then the next one i'm gonna talk about this newer edition so both of these alluring fig and philosikos they are very fig forward so these are like the most fig forward fragrances that i have that i have tried and um, this one, I just got this, I think, a couple of weeks ago. 
and this was a declutter actually the person that i bought this from i think you know maybe changed her mind and thought that this one did really work on her skin this is a full bottle and i still have the box here so i have really been wanting to try um detik fragrances i've sampled Odwell, i've sampled dawson low descense and o capital thanks to marjorie a friend of mine from insta so anyway i have heard of this fragrance like for years even way before i started you know focusing and watching a lot of perfume content or perfume videos on youtube even before i um, made my own channel um, because i see this a lot in most um, youtubers um, fragrance collection perfume collection or celebrities perfume collection and i think when i started my channel it was yasmin that um, talked about this one and i i, I took note of it. this one is a floral green kind of a fig fragrance so for the notes, this one has fig, fig leaves, and fig tree. So it's all about fig. This is the EDT, by the way. I learned that the white um, logo, the white label is EDT, and the black ones are um, EDP. So it has, it's all about fig. Even the notes, they're all about fig. So this one is more of a floral green kind of fig fragrance. I really thought that this one had a... Um, floral note in here something white floral not really the indolic type maybe a lighter white floral tiare maybe or something but it doesn't so philosicus is powdery it's green it's light but you immediately get fig in the scent if i didn't know about fig fragrances and how fig smells like um, because of alluring fig which i'm going to be talking about later i wouldn't really know how to you know um digest or dissect this scent on my nose it i would just describe it as something you know green almost grassy it's dry but in the dry down it becomes sweeter and it becomes a powdery kind of a scent this is a really nice scent actually. this is the easiest scent to love out of the you know this whole list because i think eau crochet could be too fruity for some while black opium you know if people don't really love the black opium dna then this one could not work for them but in terms of you know the, a simple scent this one is easy to love and you know it's blind by safe if you're okay with green powdery sweet fragrances in general so i really love this one i was super excited when i saw this one um, in our facebook market and i had to get this one right away now let us go to the most fig forward fragrance i have in my collection and it was through this fragrance that i appreciated fig as a fragrance note as a an accord in fragrances and it was through this fragrance that i was able to really understand fig as a note and how it can be interpreted in other fragrances this one is very similar to philosicos but in terms of the whole scent profile alluring fig is way more potent in the fig um, category in the fig um, aspect of the scent but aside from fig this one also has vanilla listed as one of the notes this one is sweet and powdery as well but the sweetness is different it's more like um confectioner's sugar kind of a sweet scent in the dry down when i first got this i thought it was really green and bitter that you know i think i described this one as you know having dark green leaves and then you know just the mixing or mashing the leaves um, between your fingers and smelling it that's how the scent was for me when i first tested it but you know after maybe a couple of months after owning this one for more than a year i think yeah it's been a year since i've had this um i don't really get that very strong kind of a green bitter scent in the entrance this one is immediately sweet but it's very forward in that fig um note or fig accord so comparing this one to philosicos philosicos is more of a lighter kind of a fig scent it's also powdery it has some sweetness to it but it's more of like i said a florally kind of a fig fragrance while alluring fig just has fig as the center of the scent and it has vanilla surrounding it that cloud or that powder of vanilla surrounding it this one is really beautiful and it was through this scent that you know i was really interested in fig and i really wanted to try more fragrances with fig and it was through this that i wanted to try black opium since i learned it had fig in it and i was really excited to try fig infusion because i guess i just have this you know fig kick as one of my faces lately 
So um, that is it for today's video. These are the fake fragrances that I have in my collection. Let me know what you guys think of these fragrances. How do you feel about fig in your fragrances? Do you love fig? Do you appreciate it? Do you hate it? What kind of fig accord is it that you prefer? Do you like the floral fig, the lactonic, creamy, coconutty type, or the green and aromatic type? Thank you so much for watching today's video. As I always say in every single content, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next one.